at this. It's all dead, the whole thing. I gotta see what it actually looks like. Oh my goodness, this looks like Jumanji. We're actually here on my bug out property and we're gonna be checking out my survival shelter that we used six months ago. Yeah, six months ago and I kinda just wanna see with all the neglect and multiple seasons going by, how did it fare? So while we're on our way to the bug out location, we've got some feeders that we're gonna check, but we're also gonna be checking things like the cactus and various wildlife. So I can actually see what's in season and when stuff's gonna be in season, making sure everything in the ecosystem is growing like it should, nothing's dying too quickly. Now, oh guys, check this out. This thing is huge. It's a massive hornet. Look at this thing. Yeah, that was a monster, man. Holy moly. Whew. And that's that's something you usually don't see on the ground too much, but I mean, if you were to like just haphazardly sit on the ground because you're tired, get stung if you're allergic, that could be a really bad thing out in the woods in a survival situation or just camping, hunting, whatever you're doing. Foot protection, protection like snake gaiters, good boots, snake sticks like we've got out with us, all really smart to do. So we are here at some of the cactus patches. And if we're, we're actually gonna jump over there because we start seeing some of those prickly pear fruits starting to come in. So we're gonna check on those real quick. Oh yeah, those are definitely starting to come in. Oh yeah, starting to definitely get into season. Look at those. Oh my gosh, these look amazing. That is awesome. Look at these fruits, guys. Now this is gonna be your best friend in the desert when you want a good treat, lots of sugars and carbs, oh man. We got a wild African dingo here in South Texas stalking its prey, which is pretty much puppy chow because it's as domesticated as you could ever imagine. So the cactus fruits are looking pretty good. And uh, while we're moving through, yeah, it looks like we got some good looking hackberries here too. Hackberries are freaking awesome. And yes, the seeds are edible, even though you might not like chewing them up. All right, so. Jen's gonna be the official taste tester. <laughs> How are they? Mm. Are they cantaloupe slash tomato yet? Oh yeah. Yeah? They're good? Mm-hmm. Good to go? Mm. Yeah, we need to see if we can find some sugar hackberries. Yeah. That is what they look like, fellas. There's a lot of seed, but if you need it, you can just crunch it up. It's not a big deal. All right, outdoor mama, got a question for you. So it's been six months since we've been out here because right. we did this video what, back in March yeah. when we filmed it. Now you guys didn't get to see it until like May, but we filmed it back in March and I wanna know, what do you think? How do you think that really cheap, super like $30, $40 survival shelter kit actually held up being completely neglected, going through two seasons here in South Texas, hot weather, cold weather, winds, rain, storms, hurricane season. How do you think it did? Wow, everything is like super overgrown out here. And it's all dead. It all, it all grew in the growing season and then all just like fried up and died. It's like a plant life graveyard. All right guys, so we're getting back through here. Oh man, this place looks completely different. In the growing season, it's all green and complete. Looks like a, almost looks like a jungle. But now because the summer's almost over, everything got hot, drought, there wasn't enough rain, everything just died off and got just heat exposure. Look, I mean, look at this. Stuff is, it's all dead, the whole thing. Oh, there it is. It's still there, that's a good sign. <laughs> wow. I mean, that's like a $5 tarp. I mean, that's not bad. I gotta see what it actually looks like. Oh my goodness, this looks like Jumanji. Oh, wow. wow. This whole campsite looks like Jumanji. Yeah. 
Like for real. It looks like you played the board game and when Robin Williams was in the house and everything and all the vines took over. <laughs> now keep in mind guys, if I was here the whole time, I'd be maintaining the grounds, I'd be keeping everything looking fresh. So, I mean, honestly, there's damage and we're gonna show you that here in a second. Honestly, it doesn't look bad. Like keep in mind, this has been six months of utter neglect in full unapologetic elements, man. So it's still pretty hot outside <clears throat> even though it is september it is still like mid to high 90s out here in south texas now if you guys have no idea where this video came from there's a full playlist for my 12 day budget survival challenge and that's the video we filmed back in march but for those of you who have already seen this series go ahead and stick around because we'll kind of show you the uh how the shelter's doing because honestly it's not too bad so it looks like the walls are still up everything's doing pretty good so it looks like I had a sound structure idea, pretty basic. I think the wind tunnel, we can see where some branches might have fallen and caused some damage in the back. The bench is still pretty good. Yeah, still just as rock solid. The chair still works, clearly. My tripod's still here. I mean, this is six months of utter neglect. I love it. This is all dead. So yeah, it looks like there was a rip somewhere at some point i don't know this looks pretty clean cut though i don't think this was this was probably a tear from wind because of that particular grommet that's my big thing for budget survival shelters or tarps like budget tarps is yes they have the grommets that you can connect high points to but you really want to try to find ones that are not only have grommets but they're oversized they're reinforced box stitched around them and that allows them a lot more integrity flexibility this came in a $50 shelter kit that came with a folding saw, paracord, tent stakes, the whole kit and caboodle I was able to get for 50 bucks, which means the wholesale price is 25, which they need to be able to make it. This is like a $10 kit. So this is like a $3 tarp. This is super cheap. And that's why I'm so impressed with it. So if we move this stuff back, yeah, there we go. So I put these little plastic corners. This was from the ground cover that's down here. That was to kind of keep it from um, the, the actual stakes from uh, rubbing too harshly against the shelter to make sure it'd be a little more sound. And it looks like that paid off. I don't see any extra rubbing or wear really anywhere on the shelter. All in all, minus that tear, which is something I think we could have mitigated 110% if I would have been here the whole time by myself. Honestly, if you were worried about the shelter boss kit, and this is not designed to be a six month later review of the shelter boss kit or anything, I'm just curious of how my survival shelter that I built lasted six months in the woods. I'm super impressed with the fact that I'm a novice at shelter building for survival shelters and I used a super cheap kit. So my, my question is, what do you think would happen if we had access to a $80, $50, $200 super tarp? We had some super hardcore over the top like survival shelter tarp. How do you think it would hold up six months, a year, two years down the road? Um, now, because this is private property, if you guys want, we'll leave it here and we'll come back six months from now. So we'll do a whole year and see how that super cheap one did. I want to know what you guys think of the condition of the survival shelter. I was super impressed with how that held up. I'm not mad about it at all. Looks like most of the plants are dead, but a lot of the wild edibles are starting to come into season for here late summer early fall i'm super excited as the weather's cooling down we'll finally be able to come back out to locations like this in south texas do some hunting for some hogs deer things like that take out the crossbows have a good old time but what did you guys think was going to happen did you guys think it was going to be this epic thing it was going to look good did you expect some wear and tear on it or do you think it was going to be completely wrecked because i'm an idiot and i have no idea what i'm doing i want you guys to leave those comments down in the comment section so if you guys are excited for some new survival adventures and things like that, definitely throw this video a big thumbs up. And uh, man, we'll see you guys on the next one.